For the whole month, we're going to focus on various testicular condition and see how that's going to affect your sex life or not. From the very beginning, we're going to talk about a condition called testicular torsion. In fact, testicular torsion is a congenital condition. It's probably because the actual testicle and its suspensory uh, spermatic cord is a bit too long and so it's like a bell clapper situation. When it's too long, it occasionally gets twisted and the twist itself will stop any blood flow to the testicle and cause an emergency situation called testicular torsion. Testicular torsion tends to happen to late teenager and early adulthood. So we're talking about between 16 to about 28. So for this group of men, perhaps they started having their sexual debut or started having practices such as masturbation. They will have a guilt conscience to see whether those practices, excessive amount of that is resulting in testicular torsion. In fact, the answer is no. There is no association with sexual activity at all. By far, the most common way of presentation actually is when somebody is sitting down doing nothing, spontaneously the testicle get twisted. Or sometimes in a sporting field such as playing rugby, football, and suddenly excessive amount of pain will warrant a player go to the sidewalk and the coach usually will worry about testicular torsion. If a condition like this happen, don't panic. The worst thing we'll do is that you actually get someone else to untwist it for you. Because remember, there's a 50-50% chance that you might twist it in the right direction, that might save you, or 50% of your chance you twist it in the wrong direction, and that will kill the testicle itself. For most people, the pain is so intense that they will go to the hospital. Once they're in hospital, the doctors will make the diagnosis clinically, and do an operation called orchidopexy. Basically, it's untwist the testicle and fix the testicle at the same time so that it won't get twisted again. However, luckily for many men, when they turn up to accident emergency, the testicle itself untwists itself and with many, many years to come, that intermittent torsion kind of disappeared. Worryingly is that if the torsion continue to happen, if it happens more than six hours, then the chances of survival of this testicle is significantly reduced. If it goes on for more than 24 hours, there's practically no chance and that testicle needs to be removed and you have one less ball to deal with for the rest of your life. For the following week, we're going to talk about how varicocele, i.e. the varicose vein of the testicle, is going to affect someone's sex life. Generally, we know it affects the reproductive health, but will it stop you from enjoying your sexual experience? You stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot. <music>